In this video session, we're going to organize and summarize quantitative data by using what's called the histogram and the box plot. Let's go ahead and begin. The data that we're looking at is the student survey data from the early fall 09. Let's begin with the histogram. We go to graphics, then to histogram. We select the variable. We're going to look at commute time. We have some options here. We're going to keep it simple. Hit next. And we have a choice where we can have a frequency, relative frequency or dense, density. We're going to first do a frequency. We have the option of where we start the bends and the bends width. We can keep those optional. We can choose different values if we'd like. I'm going to let the computer pick them. Hit next. Next again we have our options of labeling our X and Y axis. Again I'm going to keep those simple. Here's some extra options to keep it simple. Hit create graph and very quickly StatCrunch produces the histogram. Okay, So this is the commute time. Clearly there's an outlier here at 150. Let's look at number of credits. So I'm going to exit out of here. Again go to graphics, histogram. Let's look at number of credits. Hit next. This time let's change it from a frequency to a relative frequency. Hit create graph and very quickly we see the histogram for the number of credits. And notice on the vertical axis now instead of counts we have proportions and we can very easily change those to percents. Now Let's say we wanted to see if maybe there's a possible outlier in number of credits. And the way we could do that is we could use what's called the box plot. Now the way you construct a box plot in StatCrunch is you go to graphics, go down to where it says box plot, and let's this time look at number of credits. Again, we have some options here. Let's go to next. Now, I would always choose this box. Use the fences to identify outliers. If you do not click this box, then StatCrunch will not identify outliers. We also have the option of drawing this horizontally because without checking this box, it's going to be done vertically. I'm going to leave it unchecked and then come back and che check it and see how it would look a little bit different. Okay, I'm going to leave this alone, hit create graph, and we can see this is the box plot for the number of credits. This is 20 credits is an outlier. This value here is what we call the fence. This is Q3 this line in the middle is Q2, the median. This is Q1. The difference, this length here, the difference between Q3 and Q1 is the interquartile range. And this would be our minimum value, and it's also a fence. Okay, let's go back to options. Hit edit, and we can go back, and this time let's draw it in the box horizontally. Hit create graph and some people believe it's easier to read this way. Let's do another example. Let's look at commute time. So I'm going to select commute time. Hit next. I do want the uh, outliers to be marked and I also want the box drawn horizontally. 
hit create graph and then here we see our box plot for commute time we have a lot of outliers here the largest one being 150 then we have here it looks like 90 and this is probably 80 and this is 60 okay again this is our minimum this is this value here would be Q1 there's Q2 the median and there's Q3 okay so this data is clearly skewed now again if we wanted those values I know it was hard to read on the box plot what the values of Q1 Q2 and Q3 min and max are if we want to do that quickly we could just go to stat summary statistics do our columns go to our variable let's do commute time hit calculate and we can see that the median was 20 the minimum was 3 the maximum 150 Q1 was 15 Q3 was 30 okay so our, a box plot is a visual of what's called the five number summary okay this concludes this video for constructing histograms and box plots